Hi, uh, so this is my second blog uh, for my video blog for uni. I'm currently at uni. Um, now usually I do these at the end of the week but I really wanted to share something with you today. Um, I had a very very emotional experience today in one of my classes and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I had what, what some people would call a moment and I know that a lot of university students will have these moments throughout throughout their time at uni where they panic and they think it's all too much and they're not sure what to do and they're not sure you're not sure if you can carry on with your studies because you think that it's going to be all too much. Now I know it's only early days to me but I've already had one of these moments and I had that today in class. I'm doing a unit on presentation skills um, which basically sort of helps you prepare for presentations this one's not assessed uh, and there's no exams involved in this one, which is good. <laughs> so that's sort of a bit of a, a bit of a weight off my shoulders. But as a journalism student, there was something that happened in class today that really made me sort of for a moment reflect on if I was doing, am I doing the right thing? Is this course for me? Can I get through this course? And I was sort of, there was a moment of panic. What the activity involved was we actually had to talk about a personal experience that we'd had and we had to step up in front of the class and actually talk about it and we had to incorporate all the senses such as touch, taste, smell and we had to stay on topic. I remember getting up there uh, myself and I had something prepared I thought I'm going to talk about this personal experience I've had but I just got up there and I got so nervous and then I thought well maybe I can just talk about the fact that I'm so nervous about being up here talking to so many people so that's what I did. There was something else that was really challenging for me today and that was hearing someone else's story. Hearing some of the other stories, there, were, there was a lot of tragedy. It was it was quite it was quite emotional hearing some of the other stories. Especially there was one story in particular. Now I won't name who that person was, just to respect their privacy. But it was a very emotional story, and it almost brought me to tears. And I walked out of that class today, thinking, Can I do this? Can I be a journalist? Can I? Can I go around and hear stories like this and be able to report on them? Should I be doing this course? You know, is this right for me? And that's what I was feeling. I was feeling like maybe I should just give up. Maybe maybe this is maybe this whole thing is going to be too much for me to handle. And I was in that I, I know you've probably experienced that. I mean, I'm I'd be surprised if you weren't. Now I'm no psychologist, so I can't tell you what you should, you know, how you should how you should respond to that and how you should deal with it. But I think that it's really really important in that circumstance to just reflect for a moment and think about how you got there in the first place, why you chose to do that course. There's a reason why you chose to do that course. There's a reason why I chose to do journalism because I love writing and I've loved writing ever since high school and I just thought, okay, this is why I want to do this course. I want to become this person. I want to, I want to go down this career path. And, and you, think about, you think about the positive aspects of it, why you chose to do it in the first place. And it really helps. And also it helps to surround yourself with people that you love and who will support you throughout the whole course. And think about that as well. Think, well, that, well, I've got people to turn to who I can talk to when I'm feeling like this. And it really helps. You just got to think, think, about, think about, you're passionate about this. This is what you want to do. This is the reason why you came to university. This is, this is the reason why you want to do this. You want a career, you want to get that degree, you want to go out into the world and do this. I want to go, just like me, I want to go out into the world and become a journalist, report on stories. It's really what I want to do. And while sometimes it may be challenging for you at uni, it, you've just got to remember the good things about it. What's really important is, what's really important, important I want to do this. I want a career. 
why did I come here in the first place and reflect on that because I think that's very very important and I also thought about those people those friends who are supporting me throughout this and it really helped as well just thinking I've got friends and family surrounding me who are supporting me throughout this I can't give up I can't just throw down my books after one experience and say no that's the end I have got to, I have got to stick with this and I've got to go through with this because this is what I want to do. This is my life. This is what I want to do. And just so, I, I just remembered that. And although it was a very emotional day for me, after hearing some of those, hearing some of those stories and hearing some of those experiences, and although for a moment I felt some doubt within myself, within my heart, I also knew that within my heart, this is really what I want to do. I want to do this, I want this career, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So in, the, in moments of doubt, in moments of panic where you feel it's all going to be too much, I, I'm not going to do this anymore, I give up, just think about the reason why you're there, the reason why you enrolled and clicked that enroll button in the first place and just remember that. And also, you're not alone. There's uh, many universities that actually have on-site counsellors which can help you. I know Edith Cowan does. I'm not sure about the other unis, but I know that Edith Cowan certainly does. So you've just got to remember that as well. That there's always going to be people there for you, whether they be your friends, your family, even fellow fellow colleagues in your, in, your, in your class. It's just really important to remember that. So that's my message for you today. I will be back at the end of the week to tell you how the rest of the week went. Uh, after quite an emotional day for me, I'm just going to relax for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the afternoon. What's left of it anyway? Uh, maybe get a little bit of uni work done. But good luck to you all, and you have my support as well. So go ahead, do that course, and peace out. I'll see you at the end of the week. Bye.